And hello everybody, this is BW and welcome back to Falcon BMS. Yes, we're back once again and as you can see we are getting closer and closer to Pyongyang. So yeah, that's how this war is going. Let's check out some statistics uh, here. Uh, Let's see here, force levels, how are they developing? Uh, air defenses, yeah, naval power, yeah, supply, yeah, fuel, yeah, uh, air bases. Mm, a little bit more for, s for North Korea. And aircraft, they got a bunch more aircraft bef because China entered the war, but now they're losing it again. And crown vehicles, they got a little bit more, but China is failing to make an impact here. It would be kind of interesting to fly to the Chinese territory and, and do something there, but let's check out here. Recon, what, what do you have here, China? Air defense, yes. Mm -hmm. I've never been to China in this game. Obviously in real life, real life either. Uh, yeah, <coughs> uh, I don't see any interesting missions, just these war gap missions and, and, you know, there's not that much enemy air activity going on, so I will fast forward here and let's see if we get some interesting missions. So I'll fast forward the video here and you'll see really fast action in the map. And uh, I'll see you when, when we get some kind of an interesting mission here. Russia has entered the war. The Kremlin stressed that its intent was to protect Russian interests in the region, interests which have been compromised by the United States domination of the UN debate on Korea. The entry of the Russian troops into the war will significantly improve the quality of the forces arrayed against the South. Russia's pilots, in particular, will be eager to prove that their aircraft and skills are superior to those of their American peers. And there we go. Russia is now in the war. Well, I think they are a little bit late. We've been advancing on this area here, and we are even closer to Pyongyang. Right about now, so yeah. But still only these Barkat missions here. But perhaps uh, now that uh, Russia is in the war we'll have some more. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm back. Uh, we had a little situation here in the war room. Uh, the situation was that the goddamn cat puked on the carpet. I thought I thought I heard a noise, and indeed I did. It was the cat. He was puking on the carpet, and you know there's bunch of uh, bare floor here where it would be very easy to clean it up. But no, no, no. If he pukes, he must puke on the carpet, and it stinks to clean it up. Ah! <laughs> So yeah, uh, yeah, that's the, that was the situation in the war room. Now we are only having these goddamn Barget missions here. Uh, there is some enemy air activity around, so I wonder if I should take a Barget mission. Let's see here. Where would this be? Here. Here. Devil two one in here. Okay, fine. I'll fly one of these because there's still daylight daylight left, and I'd like to do some missions during the daylight. So yeah, I'm going to take this mission because apparently there's nothing more interesting to come. Uh, hmm. Although I would like to be here on the front. Hmm, where would we get some action? 
this is still on briefing, but uh, no, no, I don't want to fly there. This is right on the front, but I don't see any enemy air activity around. Which is kind of a problem. Uh, let's check right, out the briefing. Uh, well, um, we'll be flying 15 minute park admissions. So yeah, 15 minutes. Sure. Okay, fine, I'll fly this and hopefully we'll get some action. Because uh, there, there's absolutely no other missions around. And boy, we are getting so close to Pyongyang already. Well, this war just might be over pretty soon. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Let's check out the loadout. I think this is fine. Alright, listen up. Briefing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So it's about an hour, mi hour long mission. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. I will see you on the runway. Uh, okay, uh, I, I actually changed my mind. I decided to take this park admission here. Uh, which came about a little bit later. Just because it's it's a little bit closer, closer to the front and we've got more possibility of, of getting enemy aircraft on, in the area. Uh, also, I, I kind of screwed up with the with the previous mission. I didn't take these drop tanks with me. Uh, I think it's it's good to have drop tanks so you can uh, f f use the the afterburner a little bit f more freely. So yeah, we're we're doing this mission here instead, a little bit closer to the front, probably getting some more excitement here. So as I said before, I'll see you on the runway. Avenger, and yes, here we are. And uh, look at that. Well, what a beautiful sunset. Sunset of death. Okay, here we are. On our way. Coming up the speed and let's take off. And here we are. And let's head towards the next steering point. And we are up to speed nicely. Good evening, Mongo. One, Oshan approach. Continue inbound for run two. Airborne. And towards steering point two. Let's actually uh, put the master arm on. There we go. Steering point is that way. Now it's going to be dark pretty soon. But oh well, what can you do? The instrument lights on. Let's also put the jammer on. And we should be all set. And yeah. Let me check out the briefing here. Mm-hmm. So it's steering points uh, three and four are the patrol area. And we should hang around there for a while to prevent hostile aircraft to enter the area. So hopefully we can do that and hopefully we'll get a little bit action. The previous episode well, we didn't we didn't get any anything. Yeah. That uh, was a shame. But yeah, uh, clouds looked really nice. I, I, I enjoyed that very much. Screenshot. Oh, look at that, there's some, some turbulence up here. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. Yeah, anyway, uh, I think I'll cut here and get to the station area and I'll bring you back once we're there, so stay tuned. And we are right on top of the steering point tree, so we are on our station area. And 
Now let's just make sure the enemies won't get here. Uh, it's a little bit dark, but I don't think it's dark enough to use the night vision quite yet. Actually, now that I'm at it, I should probably put the helmet side on as well. So there we go. And the sun has set, so... Here we are at dusk. And so far, no enemy air activity around. Let's see here. Request picture. And then nothing. And there are tons of, of friendly aircraft in the area. So our chances of getting kills is not that great. Do we see any signs of war here? Not really. I wonder what 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 should my next campaign be? I think it should be a little bit more deadly than this one. Now I, I did die many times at the beginning of the campaign. But since that I've learned quite a bit of new things. I am a better pilot now. And uh, yeah. Wonder if I if I should turn up the difficulty for the next campaign. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Steering point three. Yes, that's where we should be going. Yeah, a little bit more deadly campaign would, would be would be fun. I don't know if you can see anything in YouTube. It's 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 quite dark, but it's still kind of light, so it's it's kind of tricky to use the night vision. Let's see if there's anyone around. Nope. Where are all these Russians they were talking about? I don't see anything. No, I went too far. Would be nice to get some kills. Air to air kills, that is. Seriously? No one? No one? Yes. No one. Lots and lots of friendly aircraft around. I'm presuming... Yeah, friendly, friendly. We are quite close to the front, but I don't see, see any action on the ground. At least not yet. But yeah, since it seems to be very quiet, I'll, I'll cut here and I'll bring you back when it's when when something interesting happens, and I, I certainly hope that there will be some action during this mission. So, stay tuned. Okay, I just paused the game because of the radio call. Sentry 2 uh, sent us a message. Engage target bearing 270, 15 miles. So, yeah. Aye, aye, sir. Uh-oh. Uh now I'm scared. Let's unpause the game. Uh, 270, 15 miles. 70, 15 miles. 270, 270, 270. We're going the wrong way. Bravo 5, we're RTD. 270. Right? Was it 270? Oh, crap. 275, 20 miles. Oh, 
20 miles. Where is this guy? Declare. Friendly. Declare. Friendly. Uh, 275. 15 miles. But where, where is this guy? Why don't you say the altitude? Which, what altitude is he in? Where, 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 where? Is he very low? Two seven five ten miles. I'm I'm there. I'm there. Friendly. God damn it. Where is this guy? Where is this guy? Come on. Altitude. Altitude. Two eight zero ten miles. Ten miles. Why don't I see this bugger? Oh yes, he's very high, that's why I didn't see him. This one? Declare? No. This one? Oh, damn it, he disappeared. He disappeared. Oh, god damn it. Now I'm stalling. Why didn't the sentry tell me his altitude? Oh, god damn it. Yeah, I would engage him if I would find him somewhere. And yeah, I, I <laughs> oh God, how bad I am! How can I? How can I not? I, I don't see this guy anywhere. Who's this one? Declare. Friendly, friendly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. 360, where? Like, like he's right behind me, right? Zero to zero. Oh God. Uh. Where are my six? There should be someone around here. Three miles away. Now is that some kind of a ground target or something or helicopter or, or something? Because why why aren't you giving me any altitude information? I don't get it. <sighs> I was thinking altitude. If altitude. Yeah. Three six zero two miles. I mean, 
There's no one, no one here. Screw it, I'm gonna turn on the labels. Wow, there's some fighting going on over there. I mean, seriously. I can't find anyone. Request picture. Okay, now there's there's a real enemy over there. I think that was some kind of weird ground target which didn't actually exist. Which kind of which kind of stinks. So two is back. Let's go back to the the station area. We, we've flown too far away. Whoa! What's that? Black or what? What's happening here? Now, I would presume that guy is. An oh, he disappeared. Okay, he's back. Uh, declare. Friendly, of course. And picture clear. I mean, what the heck was that? I mean, I could swear there was absolutely no one there. And the sentry told me to attack it. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand this at all. And now they say the picture is clear. Ah, uh, really, really annoying. I thought, I thought I was going to get some action, but nope. But the funny thing is that they didn't say anything about the. They didn't say anything about the altitude, so I I don't I, I don't sure, I'm not sure what that means. Does it mean that there was just an airplane sitting on 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 the ground on an airfield, and they told you attack that? I do not know, but I suppose I'll cut here and I'll bring you back if something interesting happens. See you soon. Bearing 040, 60 miles, 22, 040, so we have an enemy around. I'm, I'm not sure if I, we should go after him. Now let's see, what, what was the... Zero four zero sixty miles. I think we should try to intercept him. Zero four zero. There we go. Sixty miles. If he comes closer, I think we should intercept him. Let's see here. Eighty miles. He's kind of. Ish. Is he still there? Seeing anyone on the radar. The thing is, I don't want to get too far from the station area, but. And picture is clear, so. That's a shame. Let's head towards the next steering point. Which is over there. 
Yeah. I'm suffering from lack of action here. There's so many, so much friendly aircraft around that immediately, if 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 an enemy aircraft comes around, he's being shot down. Victory is clear. Yeah, uh, I'll see you soon once again. And once again, I'm back. And we are having a bogey on this direction. He's very far away though, 60 miles. 26,000. Very, very, very high. Let's see if we could get him on the radar. Though, though I don't think... Oh, 160. What's this one? Uh, that's probably a uh, friendly, right? Yes. Fifty miles. Okay, it's coming closer. He's very high, but so are we. Should be right in front of us. Here, perhaps. Declare. Yes, that's a hostile. Let's kill him. Oh, yes, please. I wonder what kind of a, what kind of an enemy he is. It's MiG-29. Two MiG-29s. Okay, this just started to be interesting. We have Jammer on, so we should get the first shot. I think there's two of them. Going as fast as I possibly can. Oh crap! Weapons free. Oh crap! I think they're trying to escape. Let's declare just to be sure. I think they are getting away. There was a splash of some sort over there. Come on. I want to get myself a kill here. Must go faster, must go faster. Come on, we can get this guy. Oh 
there's 230 or also around. Holy crap. We're getting kind of far from our station area. We're not catching this guy, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. I want to have a kill. Uh, that's not my wingman, is he? Seven, to say status. Yeah, he's fine. We're getting closer to this MiG-29. Come on. Get a kill. We're getting there, we're getting there. Closer, closer. I want to get a good shot. Okay. And we see a splash. Oh yes, thank you. Uh, let's break the lock. Is this guy dead or not? Yes, he is. Uh, let's break the lock and get back to our station area. Uh huh. Three. Oops. Whoa, I went really far away. Altitude. Altitude. Oh, I'm suddenly very low. What? I'm... I'm on top of the sea. Interesting. Picture is clear. Well, I got a kill. That's cool. But... I went really, really far away from my station area. Whoa, look at the wind. <laughs> it's crazy. Still got one medium missile left and two side finders. And picture is clear. Okay, uh, it's currently 1958. And I'm looking up the briefing here yeah I think we're still just about at the end of end of our time here picture is clear where's to uh, rejoin Okay, uh, I'll cut here, I'll get back to the station area and then I shall be starting to head back home because... Because, yeah, this... this uh, our, our time on patrol is, is starting to come to an end, so... Uh, I'll cut here and I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'm having master caution here and... I check out here... Oh, the... What's that? For some reason, my uh, track IR goes crazy when, I try to, when I'm trying to shoot. FLCS faults. What's that? I do not know what that is. But there's some flak. Oh dear. Interesting. What what what's that error? I don't I don't know. Let me actually. FLCS. I'll Google it with my phone here. Wait a minute. Just a second. FLCS. 
FLCS Falls. Problem with flight control system. Engine falls. Warning, 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 warning. Uh, engine falls. Caution. Oh dear. Uh, Caution. Caution. Holy crap. Warning, warning. Flame out. Warning, warning. What the hell happened? Oh dear. Well, this isn't very good, is it? Uh, yeah. Okay, now, which is our side of the line? <coughs> I would like to know. Okay, let's see, let's try to get our bearings here. Mm. I should try to head home. There's an airfield over there, it's been bombed. Which way is home? We've got quite a bit of altitude, so... We might be able to make it home if I would... Know where home is. Holy crap, did I burn the afterburner too much or something? Oops. Now is that Seoul? It's a big city of some sort. I, I, I've got no idea where's west, where's east, where's what. If that's Pyongyang, then I'm in, in great deal of trouble. I think that might be Pyongyang. Though I am not sure. Uh, mm, okay, uh, vector to home plate, 6. Does the radio work? One, okay, we're going kind of the right direction. One hundred twenty miles. Oh crap! Yeah. We are kind of far away from home. So let's just try to glide as far as we possibly can here. This is the first time anything Altitude. like that has happened Altitude. to me. Although I was watching my phone, I, I might have been hit by a flag, as far as I know it. Oh shit. This this is this is interesting. <laughs> warning, 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 warning. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm having problems. Oh, shut up. Could you like oh, what's that noise? Python, three two, inbound for landing. Python 32, copy emergency, you are cleared for immediate landing, runway 27, emergency equipment will be standing by. Honestly, I, I, I have no idea what happened. Sentry 2, Python 3-1, request vector to nearest landing field. Python 3, Sentry 2, divert field available, bearing 170-35 miles. 170... Where? 35 miles, that's too far. I can't glide that far. I 
I don't think. I don't even know how to put the landing gear on. Because I don't have any hydra hydraulics or anything like that. I don't think. Can't even see the bloody airfield. Losing altitude all the time. There's no way I can glide 30 miles, that's for sure. Sentry 2, Python 3 1, request vector to nearest landing field. Python 3, Sentry 2, divert field available, bearing 175, 30 miles. 30 miles, it's way too far. Just want to be behind my. I, I just uh, I was uh, trying to say I don't want to be behind enemy lines. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to do a crash landing of some sort. So how will I get the goddamn landing gear down? Can I see the airfield? No, I can't. Yeah. Well, we did get some action here. That's that's what I wanted. And I'm rapidly losing altitude. And th th it's there's a lot of hills around here. That's not very good. Not good news. Warning, warning, stalling. warning, warning. Okay, now I have the gear down. <laughs> I, I, I think I should probably bail out. Or something. Because look at all these mountains. Well, there's kind of flat grounds around here, but I don't think I have enough energy to... Uh oh Okay, eject, eject, eject. Fine. So yeah, there we have it. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, shit happens. I wonder if I died. Uh, well, we'll see you soon. I'll see you at the deep pre- And here we are. And mission failed. Pilot rating, horrible. Missing in action. Yeah, did not remain in station area. That was unfortunate. Yeah, I, I, I don't SU-30. I thought it was MiG-29, but apparently not. But yeah. I, I destroyed that airplane. And I'm missing in action. So, yeah. Uh, first of all, I flew too far from the station area. I was just obsessed to get get that kill. And after that, I don't know what happened. Wonder if I was on the afterburner too long. I'll have to check out the uh, the video to see what what's going to happen. But yeah, now uh, we're going to have some more interesting missions, like this strike mission here. Well, that was actually a very interesting mission. We just flew, but you know, destroying ground targets is is always fun as well. But anyway, uh, enough for this episode. That was kind of new <laughs> uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye